Good evening guys, today we're going to be showing you how to build this cozy little cottage. Now for this one we're going to be doing it the front side first, then we're going to do the side, then we're going to do the back, and then the other side. So right here, this is where the first floor is, we've got the layout for the window and the door on this side. And then we're going to do the second floor support beams. So as you can see here, using the stairs, I'm going to add the support beams and come across here. And we're going to come across and add the rest of the beams. I'm going to work our way up here, and then we're going to use this block here to give it a nice texture for the second floor, make it a bit different from the first. Uh, a little bit closer to the English kind of build house, so hopefully it looks pretty good at the end. Now we're going to add in the roof here. The roof here is a little bit different since it's not an uneven structure. We're going to have two separate roofs here that will combine after. So we're just going to fix that little mistake, and we're going to work our way across. Come down here. And then work our way up at the front part. Now we're going to move on to the side. But first things first, we have the door and the windows in here and the glass. Now we're going to work on the side. Now the side is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks across. But then the second floor is going to be one block further out. So adding in the support beams here, going to come across. Now the second floor here is going to have a lot more windows since we want all that light into the second floor. Going to come in here and add three windows just to make it as bright as possible and we're going to start to add the roof here now we're going to raise this up a tiny bit just to make sure we got that height in the roof we don't want this to look like too small of a building don't want it also to be too big so it's going to be a medium kind of sized one it's going to be only two stories come across here we're going to make the back a little bit plain since i'm guessing if you're going to be building this I'm going to be building this in a town or a village so it would be quite easy to plop another building behind, or make a little side alley here. You can even add like a little side area leading to the, the back side of the city. Now, you could easily swap it out and add a window here. I'm going to come up and across here. And this is what it looks like from the back side. And then all we're going to do is start connecting both the roofs together here. They just connect here into the middle. And then they come across. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to add the connection points here. Now, for this side here, we're going to work our way up, come across, and then we're going to add this nice little spike here at the side. Don't know what you'd call it, that little bit that comes out in more kind of rustic Viking homes, or Nordic homes to be precise. Now, this side here, we're going to leave a little bit plain as well, so you can make either a side alley, fill it up with like some plants or something. I'm going to come up here. We're going to add. Now, some easy things you can add onto this is adding hanging signs adding some wool that looks like clothes drying or adding some banners to have some a little bit of an extra effect to it or lanterns lanterns all the way around or street lights really make this a few of these houses combined really sets off the atmosphere quite well now it's getting a little bit late here so i'm gonna swap it today real quick and we're gonna just finish up the bit of the roof here now that it's daytime we're gonna quickly speed up and all you have to do now is fill in the rest of the roof